we're going to look at taking the derivative of f of g of x, where, um, where f of x is taken to the g of x power, and neither f nor g are constants. And the example we're going to use is the sine of x taken to the x power with respect to x. The first step is to write it as y equals the sine of x to the x power, because what we're going to do is use logarithmic differentiation to get at this. There are other ways to do this, but I think this is probably the easiest one. And step two is you take the log of both sides. Uh, this allows us to bring this x out front, which I've done right here. And uh, now I'm ready to take some derivatives. I take uh, the, the derivative of the left side implicitly. And of course, the, the derivative of log of u is u prime over u, so the derivative of log of y is y prime over y. This, we're going to use the product rule. This times this prime plus this times this prime. So it's x times the log of sine x prime plus the log of sine x times x prime. Those are fairly easy derivatives to take. The log of the sine of x is, log, well, let's say the log of u is u prime over u, so I put the derivative of sine over the sine of x, okay? And, of course, the derivative of x is 1. And then probably the next step would be to maybe simplify this to the cotan and then bring the y up front. In other words, multiply both sides of the equation by y. And that's what I've done here. So I have now have y prime equals y times x cotan x plus uh, the log of the sine of x. Now I can replace this y. I know what y is. It's sine of x to the x. I can replace it with sine of x to the x. And here's the, um, the entire solution. Now uh, it might, you might want to go back to the beginning and start this off slowly and see if you can repeat these steps and uh, pausing the movie as you go along.